Today I'm going to show you how to load movies and music for offline play on your Apple TV 4th generation. We're going to start by just opening the App Store, then we're going to search for an app called VLC. So we're going to go ahead and type in VLC and it should pop right up. And there it is there in the left corner. So I'm going to go down to that and open that. Now you're going to want to go ahead and download this. I already have, so all I need to do is open it. So once it's downloaded, go ahead and open it up. Now at the top, there's going to be four different tabs. We're going to go to Remote Playback. Now you're going to go down to Enable Remote Playback. Now what we need to do is go to our laptop or our PC and type in this exact address. You need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as what your Apple TV is. So right now I'm on my laptop and I've typed in that 192 address. And now I'm going to shrink this window and pull up a file explorer window. So these are movies I have locally stored on my laptop here. I'm going to left click that, hold on that, and drop it over here in my browser window over here. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some music too. So I'm going to go back to my file explorer pull up some local music I have on my computer. I'm going to left click that and then drag that over to the browser window and drop that there also. Then let go left click and that will start loading it. So the music file is going to load pretty fast. It will load in probably just a couple minutes. Uh, the movie file might take about five to ten minutes because it's a little bit larger file. So as you can see there the music file is already loaded. The movie file is still in progress. It's going to take a little bit. So now I'm going to go back to my Apple TV on the remote playback tab and now I should be able to find that song I loaded on there. Here it is, that 50 cent song. And now that's playing on my Apple TV, I'm offline and it's playing just fine. So here's a look at some of the other stuff I've downloaded on here. All these are locally stored now on my Apple TV through the Catch Media. So what the Catch Media means, it's more of a temporary memory. Uh, these files will stay on here until the Apple TV needs more memory. So if you have a 32 gigabyte Apple TV and you're getting really close to uh, maxing it out there for memory, these files might start to get deleted. So you want to make sure that your Apple TV doesn't get full with memory or you might lose these files. So that movie's still loading, so I'm going to show you another movie that I've already loaded on here. We're going to pull up Scrooged, and there we go, that's playing and this is available for offline playback also. Well there you go, that's a quick and easy way to load your movies and music onto your Apple TV available for offline playback. This is CLS All in One. If you want to hear more from me, please like and subscribe.